Someone that evil shouldn't be that close to so much power. Hey everybody, before the show begins, make sure you subscribe and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell so you can be the first to see all the crazy fun videos I post. Now, let's have some fun. On with the show. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Psycho Girl. How you doing? Today we are taking a look at the brand new Psycho Girl. MC James is releasing this today too, so happy Saturday! This song is called Rage On. Now it picks up where we left off when Herobrina, she stalked us, found us at the mall, led us on this crazy car chase where she ended up like running on top of a building and yeah, it was really weird and I don't know why she's following us. She's obviously not our friend. I'd love it if she would just buzz off. Maybe she just needs a friend. I don't know. Let's go find out what happens and how this connects to everything else that's going on in our crazy worlds. Here we go. Psycho Girl 17, Rage On. Go get her, girl! Uh, why do my girls always leave me to do all the dirty work? Like, come on, girls. Lily, Ruby, you guys can help me. I, I kind of don't want them involved either because I don't want them to get hurt. And we always seem to get into more trouble together. Have you guys noticed that? Are you watching the Psycho Girl show? If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out the Psycho Girl show and you will see. We all mean well, try to fix one problem and then a new one develops. It's quite hilarious. She's got a portal gun? She's got a portal gun? This was obviously, the whole car chase was obviously a trick just to lure me to this rooftop. Ugh, duh! How did I fall for that? You know what? She wanted me on her own turf. Bring it here, Brina. I can take you. Come on and fight me! Ugh! Well, I guess I asked for that. Ugh. So much harder seeing this from an outside perspective. She's evil. She does not play fair. She's dirty. She's a dirty player. Oh! She did trap me. She freaking rode us off the road in her car when the whole time she could fly. That was, she's just posing. Yeah, my dad taught me wrong and right. Even though he's a glitch, even though he's bad, he started from good. And then he became a glitch. He's taught that to me. This one, on the other hand, she's just like her dad. Just evil. There's no rhyme or reason. She just wants to get rid of us so they can destroy the world. <sighs> Alright, right. So she flies now, too. She can fly and levitate. She's obviously not a glitch because she doesn't have red eyes. Uh. You know what the sad part is? Is that we would probably be friends if she wasn't her dad's daughter, if she wasn't who she is. Like, we're flying around. It's kind of fun to fly around. And if we just could, if we could just fight and then, like, make up like normal people, we could just do that and fly around and have fun and then just kiss and make up. Well, not kiss, but you know what I'm saying. This could actually be a good day. Look at this. This could be really fun. It was fun until this next part. Until this. Look at that! She straight up put a wall up in front of me while I was flying. That's so dirty. She's such a dirty player. And now she wants to pull her sword out and act like she's going to fight fair. Oh. 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 Alright, 
I like this next part. This is the middle part of the song. I love this part of the song. So listen to it. love that. And on the wings of demons, I can kiss the fiery sun. No matter what you do to me, no matter how evil you are, while we're in the middle of it, I'm going to rise and I'm going to experience all the pleasures this great world offers because a demon will never bring me down. Because no matter what you try to do, the good in me will always rise above that. Rise higher and higher and higher. Anyway, I get a little deep sometimes, but I love that part of the song. The music and the lyrics work together really well for me, so. No matter how hard it gets, just keep going. Just when she thought I was dead, she thought I was done. And let me tell you, I was ready to give up here. I was holding on for dear life. It doesn't matter if you're hanging on by a string, you just get back up. Don't ever stop going. You could dig and dig and dig and look for that gold and quit right before you were an inch away from it. You never know what's on the other side. If you don't try, if you don't keep going, you'll never really know how far you could have pushed yourself. And here, I was hanging on by a string and I said, Girl, you gotta get up, come on. She's almost done, and that could be the end of her. Here it is. That's all it took was one last hit. Oh no! Okay, so she's in the underworld. Who is this? Who is this person? That's obviously a glitch. Is that the Ender Staff? Is that the Ender Staff? The Ender Staff holds all the power, like so much power. The Ender Staff is how my dad got here. It's how every glitch got here. It's just how I got here. Ooh, without that Ender Staff, I wouldn't exist. Now they're together in the same world, so this glitch is out of the glitch realm. They're in another realm. And whoever this person is, I don't know if they're good or bad, probably bad because most glitches are, except, you know, some exceptions, like my father isn't all bad and I'm obviously not all bad. But whoever has this Ender Staff, I, I, I mean, I think this is the Ender Staff and I don't know who this glitch is. And Herobrina is way too close to the Ender Staff for my comfort. Someone that evil shouldn't be that close to so much power. Someone good shouldn't be close to that much power. We all know what happens when someone that's trying to do good spills water on something accidentally or, you know, messes up a code. What do you guys think is gonna happen next? If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. MC Jams, you outdid yourself again. I really like this song too. It's working for me. The lyrics and the melody really fit together. Here, Breen is now eliminated from the mortal world, but we know she still survives somewhere. And she's near the Ender Staff. I think that's the Ender Staff. This cannot be good. I want her away from the Ender Staff. Do I have to die and go into the Underworld and get her? I want to hear your ideas, what you guys think I should do next. If you see any clues that I missed, let me know. And if you want to come say hi to me on Instagram, I'd love that. I post all other kinds of cool stuff. Minecraft underscore psycho girl. I will be doing a Halloween contest through Instagram. So come over to Instagram so you can find out the details and be a part of it. Minecraft underscore psycho girl. And also guys, make sure you click the bell if you want to be the first to know when the videos come out. You can subscribe, but if you don't click the bell, you won't get notified in your inbox right when the videos go live. All right, you guys, I will see you in tomorrow's video. I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Keep doing you, always do you, because you are amazing. See you guys. Bye. I was like, psh, psh, psh. like, psh, psh. <laughs> let's see that again. I am.
giving you one more chance. What's up guys? It's me, Psycho Girl. How are you doing? I hope you're having an amazing weekend. Great times at school. I hope you're looking forward to Thanksgiving. I know I am. And to start off the holiday season, we're doing a huge sale on all the Psycho Girl merch from this past year. There's a link in the description below. You can use the code GRATEFUL8 and you get 20% off everything before it goes away forever. And we're launching a new store, but I'll get into that later. A little birdie told me that MC Jams released Psycho Girl 18 yesterday. I can't believe there's so many Psycho Girls. I did not sing this song. I have no idea what it's about. There's multiple Psycho Girl storylines going on in the MC Jams uh, songs. The last Psycho Girl song was when I fought Herobrina, and Herobrina's tied to Brody, my first crush. It could be about my backstory with my dad, Entity 303, and Herobrine, which is also connected to Herobrina, but still separate storylines that are all coming together. Or it could be about Lillian Hacker, because I don't know what happened with that, and honestly, like, Lily won't talk to me about it. It's kind of one of these, like, hush-hush situations. The elephant in the room, and nobody wants to address it. So, ah, uh, yeah, Lily won't talk about it. I don't know, so it could be any one of those topics, or something else, who knows? Let's just get into it, shall we? This is Psycho Girl 18. This song is called, I Would Die For You. I would die for you. Okay, I'm starting off in my arsenal. I would die Obviously upset. For you. <laughs> this could have been any day. Hey, Ruby. I would die for you. Mm. Or maybe looking very serious, I as I usually die. am. It's kind of... Sometimes people think I'm in a bad mood, but I'm actually just thinking, thinking about all this stuff going on in my life, and I'm trying to think of new ideas. I just have that resting bee face sometimes. <laughs> For you. <gasps> Who's that hiding? If there was a time, <gasps> who is that? Would you sacrifice who are these when your back's against the wall? Face the enemy. But yay, because I've been dying to know what the heck is going on and address this issue with Lily. So this happened. You in a bind. Would you give your life? Oh, She's like, no, you don't understand. They will not accept you. Leave someone behind. I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can reason with them. Maybe I can. Maybe Hacker isn't so bad. Maybe there's something good about him, like my dad. You know, people can be misunderstood. Like, I'm misunderstood all the time. Wouldn't think twice about it. I would die for you. But no. I would die this is some Matrix stuff right here. I, would... I was like, psh, psh, psh. I was like, psh. Let's see that again. I would die for you. Damn. And that, kids, is the benefit of doing yoga and stretching and exercising. I would die for you. Ugh. Talk about your day. Oh! Do you tell a lie? I'm like, I am giving you one more Staring chance. Down the <laughs> Are you gonna run or will you do what's right? Ah! I wouldn't think yes! I would <laughs> die for you. saying Lily I would die for you because right now I'm risking my life to fight hacker even though she doesn't want me to I don't know she didn't look too happy when she was sitting there I don't know if it's because she wants us all to be friends or because she's in over her head either way 
He is not to be trusted. I know that. I'm willing to risk our friendship. I'm willing to put our friendship on the line and have her hate me because there's no way I'm going to trust someone I care about with someone that's such a slime ball. He obviously has some kind of spell on her, some kind of a love spell. I'm going to protect her no matter what. So I'm willing to risk my life. I'm willing to risk our friendship if it means doing the right thing. right now everybody does not like hacker because hacker does not like anybody and I don't know what he wants with my friend for some reason he's targeted her I mean I know she's really cute but I also think he probably targeted her because she's vulnerable and she's so nice and she's so giving she trusts people too easily and I don't know she always tries to see the good in people and maybe there's something special in hacker that I haven't seen but evil always manages to rise to the top with him. He never does the right thing in the end. Even my dad does the right thing sometimes, and he's an evil glitch. Hacker is just born to be bad. Born to leave it! Lose. Yeah, nobody likes him, and it's quite obvious, and poor Lily totally almost died right here. Oh, I like that shot, that is epic. I would die for you. Mm, why is he smiling? Hello, this is Ins Okay, I still think it's sad. It's Hacker. He's crazy. He's way crazier than me because he has absolutely no reason to do what he does. Or maybe he does. We all seem to have reasons. I don't know what his reason is. He he just seems maniacal. I don't know. Is he dead? Is he going to hack his way out of this? Probably. God, these are all just very dramatic and very serious. Uh, Lily, what the heck? We need to straighten you out, girl. There's plenty of really nice boys out there. You don't have to go for the bad boys that are serial killers. All right, we're going to figure this out. I'm going to talk to Lily. Tell me what you guys think is going on. Why is Hacker picking Lily? Is it because she's vulnerable? Do they actually have a real connection? Do you think he's coming back to life? What do you think I should do to talk some sense into Lily? Yeah, I'm really worried about her. Really worried about my friend. If you thought your friend was hanging out with a bad crowd, kids you thought he or she were going to get in trouble with, what would you do? Tell me how you would deal with it. Also, you guys, on a different note, I've got some really exciting things coming up this next week. Fun announcements of some new things I'm going to be doing. In the meantime, I'm running a sale on all of the merch. It's 20% off. You can use the code GRATEFUL8. All the information in, and the link is in the description below. Get it now because that merchandise will eventually be gone and it's the original Psycho Girl merchandise, the original t-shirt, first one I ever came out with because I'm getting ready to launch the new merch around Thanksgiving. So get ready for that, all kinds of new fun stuff you can ask your parents for, for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you celebrate. And I also have some other really big announcements coming up that I think you will find exciting. So join me on Instagram, Minecraft underscore Psycho Girl. I reveal other stuff on there that I don't reveal on YouTube if you want some clues as to what I'm talking about. So head on over to Instagram, Minecraft underscore Psycho Girl. All right, you guys, keep doing you. Always do you because you are amazing. I will see you in the next video. Bye.
but I'm dangerous to the core. 